hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ayo Bablo and you're in my corner thanks for tuning in if it's your very first time welcome 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 and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for always coming back i'm glad that you always do as you can tell from the title i'm here again with another video that i think will be helpful for anyone who is planning to study at Teesside university without further ado let's jump right into it <music> If your plan is to study data science at this side university once you get to the website you see data science and you see applied data science some of you might be wondering what the differences are some of you might have been privileged to read through and not understand and some of you might just say mm, it still seems similar to me why is there data science and why is there applied in this video i'm going to be highlighting some of the similarities in the courses and some of the differences so i believe if you want to study data science you already know why you want to study the course so i'm not going to be speaking so much on that some of the similarities and differences might also be intertwined so you just try to pick it in i'm going to try as much as possible not to make it confusing but i believe it's not confusing so let's start from the duration both of the courses have one year and two years duration for data science there's one year and there's two years with advanced practice same goes with applied data science there's one year and two years with advanced practice so ideally your academic year is the one year so for people who are doing a one year course they are not missing out anything per se the only difference is that the second year is what is called the advanced practice where you get to do an internship or a research with school and then you do your dissertation after the one year academic session so those who are offering a one year course will proceed to do their dissertation why those who are on a two year course will just proceed into their summer break so the only difference here is that for data science there is both january and september start but for applied data science there is only september start so you can come in in september for either the data science course or the applied data science course which you can choose to do one or two years but if you want to come in in january it means you're only going to be able to apply for data science and not apply data science next you go to the course if you're on a one year course it's fourteen thousand pounds for a year but if you're on a two-year course it's eight thousand five hundred pounds per year and that is seventeen thousand the only difference is that if you're going on a one-year course you get to pay everything in that one year but if you're on a two-year course the fee is split into two but it's no longer going to be fourteen thousand. It's now going to be seventeen thousand, where you get to pay eight five in the first year and eight five in the second year. And generally, in Tisa University, if you're not paying your tuition fee as a whole, it means you get to pay in three installments or you get to pay in seven installments. Also, going to the funding and the scholarship, there is no scholarship for data science as a whole. There are other fundings that are available, or scholarships that are available the vice chancellor scholarship and many more like that which is general for all courses but as regards data science and applied data science there is no scholarship for data science there is only scholarship for applied data science and that is the ofs scholarship office for students scholarship which i'm a recipient of if you have not seen the video i'm just going to link it up here so that you can get to watch it if you are interested it means that if you're interested in the ten thousand pound scholarship it means you're going to be applying for applied data science and now we go into the cost structure for data science and applied data science and i think this part is actually very important so you know what you're getting into even though they are kind of similar there are still some differences and i'm going to be highlighting the differences in the course modules so i'm going to be highlighting the courses by the semester and the tools you're going to be using in those courses in the first semester for data science you get to learn big data and business intelligence and in this course you're going to be using microsoft power bi you get to learn about big data data warehousing you know flat tables business intelligence data visualizations using microsoft power bi in the first semester you get to learn about statistical methods and here you learn about quantitative and qualitative data analysis techniques you know correlations regressions and in this module you're going to be making use of r also you get to learn data visualizations and in this module you're basically just learning visualization techniques you know good and bad visualizations the type of charts to use infographics and stuff everything that centers around visualization but in the first semester as an applied data science student you get to learn about data science foundations everything that centers around you know data science you get to learn about data science foundation like the course implies you know some machine learning you do a little bit of machine learning you do a little just a little bit of sql and all of that so the official tool for that is r but you're allowed to use python but you're only going to be thought in r when it is time for your in-course assessment your project you can either use python or r but the official tool that you'll be taught with is r also you do software for digital innovation for applied data science and here you're basically just 
learning and using python and then graphic user interface guis so you're basically combining python and guis the thing about these tools is that they take you from the basics but you know it's a master's degree program they are not wasting so much time so it's just going to be you're just rushing through the basics until you get to what you're actually going to be needing you're also going to learn a little bit of visualizations and stuff like just like the course implies you're going to be learning visualization in almost every aspect of the course but you know they're not wasting so much time and then for applied data science in the first semester you also get to do big data and business intelligence just the same for data science too so both data science students and applied data science students will take the big data and business intelligence course amongst other people there are people from artificial intelligence you know fintech and all other people also taking the course since this video is limited to just data science and applied data science both departments will be learning big data and business intelligence and we move to the second semester out of the three courses for the second semester both data science students and applied data science students will be taking two courses together that is machine learning and interactive visualizations both data science students and applied data science students will be taking the courses so for machine learning you're going to be thought in python majorly this is where you do everything that has to do with machine learning proper 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 you know but for machine learning there's also an option of using r you're going to be provided with documents if you want if you're going to be using r and document if you're going to be using python but majorly it's going to be python programming language and then interactive visualizations i think that one is like the i don't want to say the hardest one of it all except you're interested in like you know javascript html and css you know then you'll find it very interesting but for interactive visualization you're going to make use of d3js it's a package for interactive visualization just like the course said the essence of d3js is to just get some interactions in your visualization and it is very interesting but i tell you it's not as easy as it is except you're interested in javascript and uh, you know html and all of those things so the only difference between data science and applied data science in the second semester is that data science students will be doing research methods and this is just basically teaching you how to write journals you know surveys anything in preparation for your dissertation for applied data science students you're going to be learning artificial intelligence ethics and the applications and here is majorly just reading journals too you're not actually learning how to write them it's more of reading journals, reading ethics that surrounds, you know, data science, artificial intelligence. And the application is just like you're going to do a project where you get to apply, you know, everything that has to be data science and visualizations. But then you will now go further to write about the ethics of whatever you're doing. So you get to take into consideration some of the ethical concerns of whatever case study you're doing. If you're choosing to focus on the e-commerce industry, you're probably talking about credit cards. So after you've done your visualizations, then you go on to explain the ethical concerns, you know, and all of those things as regards the case of study that you have chosen. So, so majorly, that's the differences between the two course models. So it's now left to you that do you want to do more of like the analytical part of, you know, things of data where you just get to know more about visualizations, big data and you know statistical techniques and all of that which is very important or you just like to do like the science part so this science part is the applied data science where you get to do modelings and machine learning like i feel like that is more of you being a data scientist and if you're just studying data science it's more of like you being a data analyst that's that's the way i see it anyway i didn't know this before picking the course i just knew I wanted to study data science but when I saw that there was a 10,000 scholarship attached to Applied Data Science, I just went straight to Applied Data Science. I mean, it's not bad. So, I mean, there is, they are similar, but there's just like little differences, which I think will be helpful for anyone who is just wondering why is there data science and why is there Applied Data Science. So, I think that's it. If you have any questions, any more clarifications on this, you can drop in the comment section below. There's also artificial intelligence and applied artificial intelligence. And there's another course called artificial intelligence and data analytics. That is a different sphere on its own. But all of these courses, you still get to do them with, you know, other people. Like big data and business intelligence. So many people in the faculty did it data science applied data science artificial intelligence you know artificial intelligence and data analytics so many of us did it so they're they are like general courses and they're just little 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 differences in the courses so they are they are kind of similar 
I mean, that's just all of it. Just drop any questions you have in the commentation below. I also want to talk about the realities and expectations of you know studying data science. I will get to do that shortly. Just you know prepare your mind if you're coming to study data science. I mean, that's basically just it. Subscribe if you have not, share this video, like, comment, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Until then, bye.